Okay, let's continue our tour of nonpolar amino acids. So we're going to look at some of the aromatic amino acids now. So again, it's like we start most of our amino acids. We've got our alpha amine, our alpha carboxylate. We have our wedge to indicate our stereochemistry. Okay, and then we have a bend. And then we add what essentially looks like a benzene ring, if you draw it correctly. And this is called phenylalanine. which has a three-letter code of P-H-E, or a one-letter code of F, which sounds like the beginning of phenylalanine phonetically anyway. So that's uh, our first aromatic amino acid. The second aromatic amino acid is this guy. Oops, let's see, charge here, there we go. Alpha carbon, alpha carboxylate, wedge, stereochemistry. All right, and then, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. That's much better. So, draw a five-membered car, five-membered ring fused to a six-membered ring, okay, a double bond right here, NH up here, and then what looks like a benzene basically, okay, and this is called tryptophan. The three-letter code for this is TRP, and the one-letter code is really weird, is W. All right, and so the last nonpolar amino acid contains a sulfur in it. It's our first one that contains a sulfur. So this is NH, whoops, I didn't run the wrong end. NH3 plus. COO minus. Wedge stereochemistry. Okay, and then we have two carbons. One, two. So one, two, and then this third bend is a sulfur. And then we have another carbon. Okay, that's attached on the other end of the sulfur. So this is called methionine. And most of your proteins start with a methionine because most of uh, proteins start with an ATG start codon, which you might remember from biology and we'll discuss later uh, in the semester. But most proteins start with methionine. The three letter code is MET, and the one letter code, oops, let's try it again. Three letter code is MET. And the one letter code is M, methionine. All right.